Hey folks, I'm Spring Glory, and welcome to part 13 of my exploration of Aurora 4X. Uh, where are we? We've just completed the construction of the Fort Charlotte, our newest uh, freighter. And I think what I was going to look at was uh, transferring construction facilities across to Luna. Uh, because we've got all this... Uh, pop available workers, all these available workers doing nothing. So if we could construct, get some construction facilities across, uh, we could then set this colony up to start uh, constructing, I don't know, maybe financial centres or research facilities. Uh, so, yeah, so we of flags. We had requested construction factories actually already but the civilian freighters aren't capable of transporting them across. So if I were to bring over some construction facilities, what am I looking for here? I came in there for a reason while I was speaking and I was totally... F oh, uh, um... Ah, uh, I can't bring in minerals, that's what I was thinking about. So there's no point bringing construction factories when there are no minerals on Luna, and if we can't, if we can't set them up as a request or a demand. No, there's no point doing that then. Okay. So, well, I suppose I could instead bring over research facilities. Or financial centres. Uh, financial centres at the moment, we're doing... No, oh, hang on. Here on Earth. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. We're doing okay with financial centres, but maybe... Do I want to send some researchers across? No. Well, what's the point of doing that? There's no point, really, is there? Um... We've got 128 million available workers on Earth. So if I transfer financial centres across to Luna so that the population there starts being put to use, then these guys wouldn't be working. So there's no point doing that, I don't think. Maybe wrong, but uh, I, I don't see any point transferring things across there. So the next thing was then going to be uh, Europa. We need to transfer low gravity infrastructure across so that we can get a colony set up here because Europa has. If I check on here, what I'm looking for. I'm looking for. I thought I had a colony on Europa. Do I not? I do. Uh, anyway, yeah, Europa has Duranium and Mercassium, both of which I have a need of. Certainly, Duranium. Uh, I could just have looked on there. Simple. Um, yeah, so Duranium, I need uh, to increase the production of that. We've got plenty on the planet, but uh, we use it more, uh, uh, more, yeah, more quickly than we can bring it out of the ground. So Duranium, Duranium and Mercassium both would be useful. Right, in that case, let's get the uh, Fort Charlotte, I should maybe rename it, since we have given the other freighter, the smaller freighter, the honour of a prefix, Her Majesty's Auxiliary Ship. Uh, let's detach you from there into your own fleet. I'm not going to give you standing orders. Hopefully that will be alright. So, at Earth, load installations, low gravity infrastructure. And let's see... You've got... A I'm trying to remember now how many... I think the other freighter, if I remember correctly, 
this ship, uh, which is a 10,000 ton capacity, could load four infrastructure. That rings a bell. So the Fort Charlotte, uh, with its 50,000 Yeah, 50,000 tonne capacity. Should be able to load 20, right. So, uh, load installation, low grav, presume it's the same size, same weight. Uh, add that move. Let's just try that, actually. Uh, let's advance 8 hours. Uh, orbiting Earth. You haven't loaded anything yet. Okay. Let's go for a day. Oh, nah, there we go. I, thought I would have expected some incremental progress, but we've got the 20 infrastructure. And... I'll just try it again, just to make sure that we're not leaving ourselves short here. I'm not looking for load installation, low grav, uh, and move, try that again, see what happens. Pickup failed, right. So it does look like 20 is our max. Transported items, yeah, right. So, out to Europa, unload all installations. And then come back to Earth. Load another 20 low grav infrastructure. And we'll just, I'm trying to figure out in my head how many times I need to do this to get 100 infrastructure. Uh, let's just do it one time and then we'll come back and set up a repeat order rather than tax my brain. Uh, so where are we heading, Europa? Right. Off you go. Very slow. Right. It's headed out, it's dropped off its infrastructure and it's back. And how are you looking in terms of fuel, actually? 86%, that's fine. Right. So again, Earth, low installation, low grav. Ah, but you've uh, already. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> I've messed up. Help. Let's get to Europa. Uh, uh, unload all installations. And then come back to Earth. Uh, load installations. Times 20. Please select the target of the order. Earth, load installation. Ah, right, 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 okay. Add move. Right, and then get out to Europa again. Unload all, install uh, all installations. And then come back to Earth. Just settle for that for now. And then we'll do it another couple of times, and that should be it. Right, we've got our power plant boost 20%. Research complete, and the next research started. And I'm hoping that the Fort Charlotte is going to be capable of... Oh, you're taking out colonists already? Thanks very much. Um, the colony ship Fuller, from one of our uh, civilian lines, dropping off uh, colonists already. Infrastructure per million, six foot right. So we're going to have a small colony to start with. Uh, but that's that's good. Um, infrastructure, we have 60. So we do want to do this another couple of times at least. 
just to get started. Uh, and I could set up an order to let the um, maybe the civilian lines start increasing the size of the colony. So anyway, let's load installations again. Look, grab uh, 20 out to Europa. Unload all installations. And then come back to Earth. Repeat that just the one time, actually. That should leave you at Earth, and once you get here, refuel. Right, let's let that run. But before we move on, you know, we're still doing okay with our stockpile usage. Um, why do I have two automated mines? Let's get rid of that. And we'll add that in there instead. There must have been some reason why I chose those figures. Hmm. We've got plenty of mass drivers already. There we go, five. Infrastructure, we've got plenty of that and that. Okay. How much are we putting into research facilities? 25% and research facilities um, really draw in the geranium and mercassium, so we can't really bump that up. There's no point really bumping that up any further. Hmm. Let's maybe just I think I actually wanted to construct more ordinary mines. That's probably what I was trying to do when I set up the automated mine. Uh, mines use up corundium. And that's also uh, not in the best shape, but we've got plenty in the stockpile. So let's queue up, uh, I think, 30 mines. And... Yeah, we'll have 25% available when the automated miner completes. We'll get that underway. Right. Carry on. Fort Charlotte should be out and back. Uh, if it hadn't been for the incremental length adjustment. We've got a new research lab uh, available, which we're just sticking into the laminate composite armour, I think. So we'll try and bring that down as quickly as we can. Capacitor recharge because we don't have anything that I'm really interested in here at the moment. Let's have a look at uh, Europa again. We've still got 0 0.05 million, so 50,000 people. We've got 80 infrastructure at the moment. So we could get a few more people on there. Fort Charlotte's back, automated mines complete. Okay. So, Fort Charlotte's completed its task. We've got 100 low grav infrastructure. We're going to need troops out here, or troops, uh, militia, carabinieri, something of that nature, eventually. But now we want to transfer out some mines. So, uh, have I? I don't, I've not transported mines before. I wish there was a way to see how much a mine weighed. I don't think there is. Nothing in there. Nothing down here. <laughs> not seen anything around it. Talk there. No, okay. So we just need to try it out. I suppose I could look up a wiki or something, but never mind. Fort Charlotte, you're fully fueled at Earth. 
let's just pick a number, any number. Load installation, main, uh, give me 10. Give it a day, see what happens. Completed orders. So, how many did you pick up? Two. Okay. Right. Okay, let's make this simple for ourselves. Unload all installations. Give it a day. Run back on here. Load installations, mines. Maximum number of items is two. Head out to Europa. Unload all installations there and we'll repeat that. How many? T well, how many times can I? manage that with the fuel. I was using what fourteen percent. Yeah, let's be cautious for now. And then back to Earth to refuel from colony. And if that's too many we'll rescue you. I suppose I could rescue I could refuel from colony after every move. That makes more sense. Remove all earth, load installation, mines, Europa, other installations, back to earth, refuel, and repeat those orders four times. Okay, get going. Oh, the fuel transport uh, flotilla is on its way out to bring us back more sodium. Fantastic. If we come out and check our uh, Uranus sodium harvesters, you've only got 12% fuel. Why are you heading out? Have I miscalculated? Sodium... Recent stockpile is only 54, so there hasn't been a drop off. Uh, fuel transport fleet, uh, what's your history? 1st of March 2048, so it is a year since you last flew out, so why? I can't see it. Why do you not have fuel to uh, to have transported back? That's a concern. That seemed to be working perfectly before. Because we did it the first time out. And then, it, well, I presume it transferred fuel. So I need to keep an eye on that in the future. Uh, anyway, construction factories are completed at Earth. Because I was actually always thinking about getting another harvester out there. Hmm, strange. Right, uh, next thing we want to look at. I don't know, another, I was thinking about another uh, spaceport, but we're getting away ahead of ourselves for doing that. Shipyards. Uh, 
Again, we don't really need them. We don't have the demand for that at the moment. So we'll just go for some more financial centres. Put our population to use. Let's just say another 10 for now. 30% available. Go ahead with that. Hmm. Fort Charlotte's on its way out and back. See uh, some ship launches here from the civilian lines. Uh, okay. Fort Charlotte's completed its orders. So Europa, you've got 100 low grab infrastructure, you've got 20 normal infrastructure, 10 mines. So you don't need low grab... Uh, I don't know why they would have normal infrastructure, that looks like pretty low grab to me. Anyway, we've got uh, a worker shortage. So let's get some more low grab infrastructure out there then. But there was something that I was going to look at and I've forgotten now what it was. <laughs> Nothing in there. Oh yeah, I was going to look at the civilian ship lines. Hope, freight and trading. You've launched a couple of small freighters. Uh, and we don't get to see what their construction is. Well, wait a minute, let's check this. Yeah, so cargo 25,000. So it's still pretty small. Your colony ship carries 50,000. Your freighters 25. Uh, you're the same, yeah. I guess that's a default. Alright, so you know. You're up to 22%. You're at 5. You're orbiting Earth. But that's fine for you. Uh, because 5%. of uh, 1,050,000 gives you plenty of range. I was just a bit concerned there. What is your movement orders? You don't transfer fuel to colony. Refuel from stationary tankers. Right. Uh, I just, I was a bit concerned that the due deal had flown out there and refueled those uh, harvesters but that doesn't seem to be the case so let's check in mining sorium ah, didn't I? I should have checked what the stockpile was uh, before that last move So, this doesn't count as a colony. I do. I mean, it is a colony. It doesn't have a planetary governor because nobody lives on it. Oh well. Uh, let's just move on again and see if this does increase. What is the due deal up to? Or oh, the Fort Charlotte, sorry. Do you have any orders? You don't. Oh, well, let's get you... Yeah, I want you to take out more uh, low installations, low-grav infrastructure. 
and you can carry, what, 20? <laughs> I've forgotten already. Load that uh, out to Europa. Back to Earth. We'll have you refuel again from Colony. Yep, and then we'll repeat the orders. Uh, how many times do we need to do that? Europa, worker shortage of 0 0.42 million. Well, you need a lot more. So let's take out a couple of hundred to start with, see how that does us. So we need to repeat this order nine times. Okay, back to it. We've got research complete. Maintenance production rate. Okay, so back to construction and production. Continue with construction rate. So maybe I should look into some other things. What have we got? We've got Power and Propulsion and Defensive Systems being researched just now. Logistics. Fuel storage very large. Let's pick that up. And once that's done, because it won't take you too long, let's go for the refueling system. Uh, and that to the queue. And we'll just leave it at that, I think. There's nothing there that really jumps out at me as being necessary. Uh, excellent. Capacitor recharge rate. Zoe. Lost that other scientist that was in there that had a 20% bonus. Do want to go with the power plant boost? Power plant boost. May as well. Go ahead. Research that for us. So I'm wondering how long I've got before we're attacked by the aliens. I do plan on getting to military ships, armed military ships eventually. Financial centres completed at Earth. How's our wealth looking? Yeah. It never seems to get more than about four or five hundred ahead of the expenditure. But that's fine, as long as we're staying ahead. Uh, research mines and automated mines. I think we'll just continue working on infrastructure. Now that we're looking at um, getting the colonies up and running, we'll start eating into this more quickly than I would expect, probably. Uh, we'll get low-grab infrastructure as well. And just let that tick along. Okay, Port Charlotte's busy. I don't do I have it. Ah, I've got the Terpsichore, I've got the Mining Operations Fleet. I, don't, I haven't noticed the freighter from there, or the uh, orbital miner from there flying backwards and forwards. Go, more colonists I think on the way out. <clears throat> Trade goods. Yeah, infrastructure. So does infrastructure make any difference? Uh, power plant boost is done. How's the colony looking now? Still got a worker shortage. Um, 60 infrastructure.
Um, I think I do need to look into this and understand why am I doing the wrong thing by taking out low grav infrastructure? What does this mean? Is this infrastructure per million or is it the appropriate type of infrastructure per million? Anyway, never mind. We're going to let that continue. Let's see how it gets on. Uh, we've got some minerals being mined. We'll get a mass driver out here soon to start firing that back at Earth. But in the meantime, uh, power and production again, or power and propulsion, every time I say production. I think we'll go with the fuel consumption. Ah, we've got a new scientist here. 10% bonus. Let's give Joshua a run out. See if he can get that increased. And we'll go with that. But I'll put a break in here. We'll pick this up again next time out. I'll maybe look into this issue of the infrastructure between parts. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.